The two-day Naivasha tour has kicked off today with a key parliamentary group members allied to the One Kenya Alliance leaders already arriving to discuss a wide range of issues concerning the coalition. According to reports, ODM boast while Odinga could join the team tomorrow on their final day as the coalition tables their strategies to clinch the top seat in 11 months. Daniel Karioki reports. Just 11 months to the highly anticipated general elections, parties and leaders continue to measure the weight of their influence with those opting for coalitions trying to set solid foundations. Today all roads led to Naivasha where one Kenya Alliance affiliate party members and officials began a two-day retreat where a special technical committee representing Wiper Party, ANC, Ford Kenya and KANU is tomorrow expected to submit a special report on their coalition's preferred color of party, logo and symbol the coalition will use, coalition constitution, manifesto of the One Kenya Alliance, campaign strategy and the power sharing formula. The four party leaders are expected to review a proposal by President Uhuru Kenyatta last week in Mombasa County to reunite the former allies. This as reports indicate that ODM leader Relo Dinga could be joining the caucus for the main event tomorrow. While Kanu's Gideon Moy seems to be willing to work with Odinga, Wipers Kalonzo Musyoka, ANC's leader Musalia Mudavadi and Ford Kenya's Moses Wetangula remain reluctant and would only work with Odinga if he joins the coalition on equal terms. This two-day Nevasha convention is expected to seal a coalition treaty whilst unveiling a possible formation to be used by the One Kenya Alliance at the highly anticipated general elections. Daniel Karioki for Switch TV, Nairobi County. Thank you, Daniel Karioki.